All right, mother flippers, we're flippers. back. Hey, what's up? It's been a hot minute. Uh-huh. Um, and we're in Kansas and it's hot. Well, no. Well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has been really hot. Yes. But Hayden's moved apartments and with that comes an entire upending of our whole recording setup. And Grant was in town, so Hayden and Grant have been visiting each other while I've been busy with other things. Uh, I wish I remember how to play this game, but it'll probably be alright. Oh, B's the move. Oh, okay. You don't want to get hit by those, but you want to pop at least 20 bubbles. Wait, why is B not working? Uh, what? It slows you down. You don't want to get into the bubbles. But you want to... No, 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 you're thinking, you're thinking of a different kind of bubble. This is not the, this is not that type of level. This okay. isn't an exploration level. This is a, those bubbles are hazards that, but I, like, oh, and I think you, you get things from bubbles by like rotating around them, right? Maybe. Not by, not, not saying that you should right now, God. But like one of the. One of the challenges was like pop twenty bubbles. No, I know in the ex exploration levels, but here they're a stage hazard that you need to avoid so you don't get All right, car well, washing. We'll see. We'll see at the end of this this auto scroller who's the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's the fish that you wish to? I don't know. The fish you wish to dish. Yes. So it just really slows you down until oh, yeah. you get to the end, huh? I guess so. Is it possible to lose this? Don't find that out. I mean, you've I got, really you've got like that, that, your pseudo health bar at the top there. Oh, but I got health back for oh, whatever reason. Oh, yeah, okay, that's that's your health bar. And then you have all those points. Yeah, all the, those fancy dollars. You know what I look forward to? Blocking the end the, of this game? Oh. Well, yes, but also blocking out all the game audio. Because, like, every level, no matter how incidental, uses copyrighted music. Yes. <laughs> Which, like, I actually kind of respect. Like, that's cool that they actually spent money on some... You just go through the hazards. It's not hurting you. Uh, it's fine. Oh. Anyway, We're what fine. would you say was the highlight of you and uh, Grant hanging out? Besides Jet Moto 2. Uh, the first night he was in town, we got super drunk. That was really fun. And then, like, you casually said I had autism. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant in good fun. Good I fun. assure the yeah. audiences and listeners. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, like you said, the level's just kind of playing itself. Um, cause it auto-scrolls. Don't die, though, because that would be an inconvenience. God, oh man, this is a super remix. So can I not, oh. Oh, I have to hold and release. Right, wait, charge. I mean, B does like three things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you just beat the level? I think so. See, look, pop oh. 20 soap bubbles. Okay, but you didn't pop any of them. Okay. So we'll yeah, need to try to remember how to pop them usual, so that you don't get hurt. For making good on it too. Played to get an inside track on a short thing at the races. Now being the warm, sensitive individual I am, I graciously gave him 24 hours on the note. It's so bizarre that Martin Scorsese plays a fish with eyebrows. Mm -hmm. White fish can't do it. Oh uh, yeah, we're already on chapter 8. That is nice that we're actually like, making progressing, progress. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, reach the end of the level and exit to the cruise ship. Smash all 11 coral pieces and smash everything that can be broken. Oh, oh is this like that. another one of these branching paths? Where every path looks the same. Fish jokes. Oh, how... Mm, uh, we're drinking this Canadian Pilsner. And obviously, Pilsner is a euphemism for piss, mm -hmm. called Moosehead. Because it was Canada well, Day last it Sunday. It was, uh, it's lager, actually, right? Oh, wait. Like, oh, you're right. I was, you had it in a Pilsner box, but that was for a different brand. So, yes, it is a lager, not a Pilsner. I'm sorry, everyone. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony.
Oh, actually, speaking of Shark Tail, oh, it is oh, another man. exploration level. So I just keep going on and I can get these. Oh, yeah, so that's how you got the pearls, that's right. Oh, okay, so it's mostly, well, we'll see if there are branching paths. Oh, definitely oh. already. What are you trying oh, to no. find again? These guys, these guys steal my monies. I don't know. We'll be fine. Oh, we will not be fine. Wait, charge through it. Oh, there you go. You gotta charge through it using the B button. That's right, I can hold B. Wow, this is the Super Mario Odyssey of fish swimming games. You said it. You read my fish mind. <laughs> Yeah, but speaking of Shark Tale, which, you know, is like this parody of Mafia films, I've been watching The Sopranos recently. Which is a parody of nothing. Well, I mean, if like... It's wholesome. I mean, like... Did you ever see Sopranos, Hayden? Nope. Well, so it's like, you know, it was kind of like HBO's first drama, right? Mm. And so it's kind of like about the Mafia but just, like, their normal, boring-ass suburban lives, kind of. Mm. Uh, and so, anyway, it's there's this, uh, you know, there's all this commentary how, you know, all these gangsters usually live pretty mundane existences, but they keep themselves entertained by just, like, quoting the Godfather <laughs> to each other all day, which is pretty much what this movie's doing, right? Yeah. It's just like, oh, let's make more, like, Goodfellas jokes. Ooh, nice. Uh, and because uh, Tony Soprano and his family live a pretty uh, upper middle class existence. Oh, did you miss something? Yeah, I have to smash all of them corals. I just didn't remember these are corals. Oh. Because they don't look the part. They don't look like anything. Yeah, and like, bonus mission complete. Wow, good job finishing that up. Yeah, which um, hopefully means this is like ten times shorter than the other one. Yeah. What's your objective again? Are you Swim finding somewhere? Someone? Yeah, you might just... Yeah, just go straight right and see if you figure it out on your own. Wait, did I, I miss some... Oh, I did. I can break those. Are you going to go for a fully Oh, break? am I? Am I? Okay. Was this just you know plain old windscreen? No, this is complete screen. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. oh, I guess they force you to okay. change directions. Hopefully, the this this game follows the path that most crappy games go. Like the first level is, is like really, really big to ambitious. make it seem like there's content, and then like the second level, is like man, this is tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got something, but they gave me health and hearts. No, they want my they want my monies. Okay, what do you got? The only way to the next part of town is through the sewers. Okay. Oh, there's the sewers. So, people often TV critics often point to the uh Episode 5 of Season 1 of The Sopranos is like a turning point in American television. Uh, it's an episode where Tony Soprano takes his daughter on a college trip, and then he sees a guy who, like, informed on the mafia, and he kills him on screen. And it's like, this is the first time a person on television killed someone because they were being evil. You know? Yeah. Like, the idea that you could have your protagonist murder someone and then still have the audience sympathize with them. Yeah. However, that didn't prove to me that Tony was a psychopath. No, what proved it to me was the next episode where he uh, gets home from like sleeping with his, like a prostitute or something mm -hmm. and he sees his son playing Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario Kart 64. His son is playing Mario. He's in seventh place. And Tony's like, ah, oh, can I join your game, son? And he comes in. And the fucking madman begins playing Mario Kart one-handed. What? 
He uses his right thumb on the analog stick and the Z trigger to accelerate. I don't even know if no, you're allowed to do that. You're not. And it was driving me insane. Like, you can't do that. You can't play Mario Kart one-handed, you absolute madman. And he's like, oh yes, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good at this Mario Kart, eh? He, it cuts to him. He's Luigi. He's in eighth place. Is Also, is it... I think it's kind of fucking racist that the Sopranos only play as, as the Mario yeah. Brothers. And he's like, hey, Gabagool, what can't you play as a Goomba? Uh... Yeah, and like all the, they're always calling each other Goombas, like unironically. And, um. Uh, is there a hole in the fence? Because I love just going to every different. Part. Oh, is this like a little a Heidi? Whoa, it's a Heidi, Heidi hole. Oh, man. Whoa. The, the, this the world really, is my oyster now. This really is the Super Mario Odyssey of our age. Yeah, definitely. All right. So, wow. this, so oh man, the green one. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, these mind. puzzles aren't as engaging as they could be, huh? Okay. I'm trying to remember what you even spend this money on. You just spend it on like bonus content or some shit. Yeah, right? like 3D models. Of, wow, of 3D fish. models. Will fish. Wow. <laughs> Great. I, I, I earnestly couldn't tell you if the music song in the background is looped yet. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is so just like non yeah. environment. Have you gone through the sewers yet? Or yes. have you been avoiding that? I like I'm watching you play, but I just keep zooming in and out of reality. I totally as get I that. think about how there's My nothing. sense of normality and self was violated by the Sopranos by watching Tony hold his N64 controller one-handed. What was he doing with his other hand? He was kind of like teasing his son. He was like smacking his son's face like, Oh, you so bad at Mario Kart. I went, <laughs> this, this would be like 2000 and like 9 or 10, but I went to a, a video game, a, a Super Smash Bros. Brawl tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was like... As the, you do. As I do. And this is when uh, Mewtwo King was like... Big? Like, super big, but also just, like, untouchable in the game. Oh, I see. And so he went to it, like, for... And he showed up at your tournament. Yeah, he showed up to... You beat him in a dance competition. No. He showed up to our, our rinky-dinky Kansas City, like, 30-person tournament. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. I don't remember why. Like, what? what the, how am I supposed to... Am I supposed to beat the fish? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were doing good. Oh, no, I Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like uh, over oh. the hedge, you just use your invincibility frames to to get Wait, to tank no. it. No, this is Whoa. God is dead. Anyways, God is dead. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Try going up there. Yeah. So like, um, we're down there. He, Ooh. Uh, he challenged. And so, if you don't know Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Uh, Meta Knight is, like, the best character, no doubt. Oh, is this back when Meta Knight was legal? Yeah. Boo. So, this is, so and it's... Back and, anyways, in the dark time. Anyways, we there's a super good Fox player in, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. This isn't Melee, where Fox is actually really good, but... Um, he challenges him to a money match, and then he decides to fight him one-handedly. <laughs> <laughs> and he wins, and, like... One of the most lasting comments before is like, I've never seen someone kill someone with one hand and fist pump with the other. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy was like demoralized afterwards. <laughs> like, man, <laughs> I've been trying. Like, and he, that guy still got like top top oh. four in the tournament overall. But just oh my god, this is a, wait, go down. You've been oh. this way already. Go down. Okay, yeah, I have. Oh, but. So I think I gotta go back down this way. But you went through that hole. Already. But yeah, but I didn't go to the right from this hole. Cause, cause like I abused my invincibility frames. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. Gotta bait the fish. Oh, you're the worst. And then I gotta. Oh, see, look, look at these clever game designers. Oh my god. They teach you spatial. Oh reasoning. my god. That's incredible. That's Mister so Incredible. You gotta do that. Bam. See, look at that. 
Have you seen Incredibles yet? I have seen Incredibles. Okay. It very not bad. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear about it. Very not bad. Yeah, I, um, it, I laugh at it a lot. I've, like, the one of the trailer, you know, in, it, in most movie trailers you have, like, some, like, line, which in our friend group became infamously, like, boom, boom, firepower from the Night uh, of the Museum. From the Night of the Museum trailer, yes. It's like, every, we, every time... Me well, our our friend group in high school had a tendency to meme just like the most unfunny lines, like kind of mostly out of irony, yeah. I guess. Not because we were unfunny; it was no. out of irony. Yeah. I assure you, yeah. mm-hmm. it was so not funny. It was funny. <laughs> exactly. Uh, anyways, um, so a- a- every movie has like that one line, like at least any any movie with like a uh, comedy feel oh, to you're it. That way, uh, yeah. Try that. Uh, they, they always have that line that, you know, makes the, the parents and the kids both laugh. So the parents are like, okay, it's not crap. But um, for, oh, shoot. So can, does that mean I can't? I mean, I don't care. Oh, see? That was easy. Huh. <laughs> wow. But I actually didn't get the, the pearls. Oh, but there's not anything on here. That's yeah. depressing. Anyways, for, for Incredibles, one of them is like the, the num num cookie. Uh-huh. Um, have, have you seen that one? Like nope. The, okay. He's he's trying to get Jack Jack and Jack Jack's just oh like yeah yeah using yeah his yeah powers yeah. to be like a little rascal, and so he's just like, and and uh, Mr. Incredible is just exhausted, and so he's just like num num cookie, and just kind of has a cookie up in the air, and he just kind of phases back into existence. So with I've been I've been using that line to help train my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden has a dog now, yeah, by the way. That's a, one of yeah. many changes to his life. Yeah. Well, oh, hey, look, there we go. Did it. Uh, reach the end of the level, uh, smash everything that can be broken. Ugh, I must have not smashed my heart. <laughs> How long are we running after this cutscene? Yeah. We might want to yeah, go. Yeah, we'll to... probably we'll probably skip this. Crime on the rise. Authorities blame the shocks. Yeah, that's that's a good place to stop. Now we did two levels, and one of them was just super disorienting. All right. Uh, so we'll catch you next time. See you next time with a problem of Titanic proportions. Will Smith is a fish man here in DreamWorks. No more 2D animated here in DreamWorks. Whitefish can't do it. I think I blew it. Shark tail. Woo.